welcome or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny. And this is my awesome dad. George. Guys, we're back back at Steak Escape. Okay? Now you're saying Penny, you just did Steak Escape. Why are you back? To be honest, we really loved the cheese steaks that we tried, both of them. Um, and we gotta we had to come back and try uh, two different ones, okay? And the second reason is the reason we are, we're really here, okay? Michaela Sloan. Michaela Sloan is a Penny Pinchers crew. Michaela Sloan recommended that we try... Sh Michaela called it the, the Cajun chicken. And I looked on the menu, and the only Cajun chicken sub that they got is called the Ragin' Cajun. So, Michaela Sloan, let us know if this is the one that you met, mentioned. It's the Ragin' Cajun, I believe. So, we got one of those. Me and Dad's going to try, okay? And I also mentioned that I wanted to try the Hangover. So, we're doing the Hangover st uh, sub as well. Let's start with this Ragin' Cajun that Michaela Sloan told us about, guys. Yeah. Um... Michaela, if you're watching, please leave in the comments. I can't remember if you said this is your favorite or if you just recommended it. I think you said it was your favorite. So this might be Michaela's favorite. We're going to find out, guys. We're going to taste test both of these. We're going to tell you what we like or don't like about them. And we're going to rate them. One being the worst, ten being the best, or somewhere in between. Okay, guys? So we please ask you if that all sounds good to subscribe guys show yeah. that subscribe button some love it's down below click it boop it smash it it's free it's easy and if you've already subscribed or if you don't want to subscribe we understand but can you take a few extra seconds and click that thumbs up guys that's the easiest way you can support us is click the thumbs up it just helps for other people to watch our videos the more thumbs up we get the more our videos get pushed out, right? And the more Penny Pinchers crew we get. And guys, we want to say thank you. We really do want to say thank you for watching us every day, don't we, Dad? Yes, we do. We truly appreciate it, and we love you for it, guys. And keep giving us the respectful comments. I talk to you guys every day. I leave messages and talk to you. So it, it, it does mean a lot to us. So the Raging Cajun, I'm shutting up. I'm shutting up, I promise, guys. We're going to try this Raging Cajun. So we got, what I've noticed is all their subs are the same price, guys. So you can get a, a small, a regular, or a large. We got a regular just like we did last time. If you haven't watched our other steak, steak Escape video, please go back and do so. But I've noticed all their subs are the same price range. Like the small is $7.49. The regular is like $9. What, what is the regular? I'll tell you exactly what we spent. This is the regular nine man i should have added this up zero man i can't add this up 769 and 240 uh nine zero seven nine so ten dollar no i don't know i felt like it was yeah it was not no it was nine dollars and I'm horrible at math and on the spot, guys. Nine dollars, you wouldn't believe I was in AP math in high school, would you? It's their nine dollars and some. Okay, I'm gonna. So here's the regular size, guys. That's the size of it. That's the inside. Oh, the sun's gonna show it out. I'm gonna give Dad the bigger half. Now I do have some mayo, Dad. If you think mayo would no. taste good, if you think mayo would taste good on it, just let me know. What is on this? You're asking that. I know you are. The Raging Cajun is grilled chicken, sauteed onions, Cajun seasoning, melted white American cheese. That is what is on this. No little spice to it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's got some spice to it. It's it's okay. The chicken has got really good um like texture to it, like chunks of chicken. I want to put a little mayo on it, see if that does anything. Michaela, if you're watching, 
so you can get lettuce and tomato on most of their subs. I didn't get the lettuce and tomato. I just told them to fix it the way it's, you know, it is on the menu. I asked for mayo on the side. That way we can judge if we want mayo on it or not. Here, Daddy, try this. Let me find my fork. Okay. I kind of spread it across the top a little bit. Mm. I got choked a little bit here. So it does have a good, it has a Cajun flavoring. I'm trying not to say too much. Man, it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard not to say too much. I'm trying not to go too crazy on it, but it. I have one more bite here. <laughs> one more bite. You want to give up on that one for a minute so we can try this other one? Yeah. No, I want you to get too full. <laughs> I think I ate more than you did. That's all. Let's get a drink. Dad found some chicken in his trough. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness, guys. Let me set this up here so I don't drop it. Dad get all chewed up, and I got a couple questions for him. Okay, Dad. We're gonna say you got a little mayo on the side here on your. Yep, yeah, you got it. I think you got it. I think you got it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So. It does have some Cajun seasoning to yeah, it, right? it does. Okay. It's got a little spice to it. I like to explain when something has a little spice to it. I like to explain. Man, here comes the sun, guys. I hope you can see us. So anyway, when something has a little spice to it, I like to explain like the spice level. Mild, medium, and hot. Okay? Um, and me and Dad, we found out that if something doesn't go as hot, any hotter than medium, if it starts going hot, then we can't taste it and we don't enjoy it, right? This does have a little spice level to it. What, what spice level do you think? Is it mild? It's a, it's a mild. I think, a, I think it's, man, I think it's mild trying to jump into medium, okay? But if you put the mayo on it, it calms it down a little yeah, bit it, too. It does. Okay. It does. Okay. So, spice level, I really enjoyed the spice level. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it did. Okay. Me so. Me uh, too. Would you get that one again, Dad? Yes, I would. If you were feeling like yes, a chicken? Yes, I would. Some little spicy yeah, I chicken? I would. I love the chicken. Yep. I love the chicken in that. Now, the chicken did have a good flavor. <laughs> yeah. The chicken had a good texture, and it wasn't dry. Okay? And I like the American. It was good. The it American, was very good. The American cheese went good on that thing. <laughs> Man, yeah, now. It was very good. What score out of 10 would you give that one? A nine. A nine out of ten? Yeah. I think I'm with Dad. I'm going to give it a nine out of ten. If I wanted that little spicy chicken sub of some kind, I would get that one again. Okay? Um, it, It's really good. It's, it's really good. Man. The chicken is good. The, the chicken is uh, it's made got, up. Uh, it's got a good flavor. A good flavor. Right. Okay, so this is the hangover, guys. This is the one I saw. Um, the first time we came here and I didn't get it because I thought it was, you know, like, man, I hope you guys can see as the sun is really coming in. It's called The Hangover. I saw this one. I, I, it sounded so interesting. So we're trying this one today. Right. This is the grilled uh, USDA choice steak, sauteed onions, hot sauce, melted aged cheddar, topped with fried eggs that are over easy, supposedly, with fresh cut french fries on here, guys. Same price. Nine dollars and eight 
$9.89 or I think it's like $9.89. This is a regular. If I see like oil on the paper, God, I hope, that, I hope that's not all the hot sauce. That's hot. We might be really hot. Uh, I don't be. know. We'll see. Maybe it's just from the melted cheese. stuck to the paper, that's for sure. I'm just gonna hold it up so you guys can see it. I see the egg in there. Man, it's stuck to the paper. I can't even see how long the thing is. Okay, I'm handing this one to Dad's. It's a little bit bigger. This might be a little messy. So I see french fries in there, not a lot. I see the egg. So the egg doesn't look like over easy, but it probably did bust. That's probably what's on this paper. We'll find out. I'm not sure how I feel about this, okay? <laughs> I wanted this thing to be amazing, okay? I like the steak. It's given me... <laughs> oh, goodness. I, I know people are going to think this is crazy. It's given me, like, I call it the greasy spoon vibe, okay? It's given me, like, some steak and eggs and like uh, some home fries or something vibe from like, you know, Denny's or I don't know, Waffle House, you know what I mean? I, I'm not in love with this. What do you think, Dan? <laughs> Are you a little confused by it too? Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't taste bad, right? It's just like... <clears throat> I feel like I'm eating breakfast and I'm not enjoying it for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think it's hard to explain. I like the steak. I like the, the tenderness of their steak. It's got the egg on there. It's got the cheese on it. It's got the fries. But it's not... I don't know, man. It's not, it doesn't taste bad. I don't know what to think about it. <laughs> I have a feeling I know what Dan's going to say, but I don't know. Michaela, we did want to thank you, though. Thank you so much, Michaela Sloan, for mentioning that uh, Raging Cajun. Thank you so much, hon. Mm -hmm. um, it, I, guys, if you've been to a steak, ex steak escape and you have your favorite things, they got bowls, they got all kinds of stuff. If you've had a, you've got a favorite thing there, please leave it in the comments. We'd like to try it. Um, I'll get you a new napkin that you're looking for here. I'll get you a new one. That one's all wadded up and... This one's a big one. I'm full though. I'm afraid to take another bite. It's pretty full. I don't know where I'm gonna sit it. Man, this is so bright right here. It don't do as good as the sandwich. You wanna give up on that one? Yeah. Okay. It don't go as good as the other sandwich? Uh -huh. I agree. It don't, it don't, uh, it don't set, uh, set my tea, uh, taster. Does it set your taster off? Uh, no, <laughs> it don't. 
It doesn't taste bad, I don't think. It don't no, taste bad. No, it don't. I didn't yeah, I think if you're a person that loves like eggs and steak and potatoes, you know, like all together, I think if you love that kind of thing, you might like, you would probably like this. Um, I like that thing, but for some reason it's just giving me that vibe where yeah. I'm just not, it's it's not hitting me like Dad said. It's not hitting me as, oh, I got to get that again. You know what I mean? It's not hitting me. But it doesn't taste bad. I'll eat it. It's just, it's just not hitting me like that. It's not hitting me right, right from that either. Let's get a drink. I got to think of a score. What kind of score I'm going to give that? It's getting hot now, too. I got the car on low, so we have a little bit of air moving. But now the sun is shining straight down. This yeah. is why we try to find shade, guys. And we are actually in a little bit of shade, but it's not enough to cover the <clears throat> the windshield. Man, guys, uh, Dad, what score are you going to give that one? You wouldn't get this one again, no, would you? No, I wouldn't. Just seven. know a 7 out of 10? 7. Um, just knowing that we like other subs better than this one, it's this is bringing my score down. And by all means, guys, it doesn't taste bad, okay? It's just not, it's not hit, like Dad said, it's not hitting me like that. It's not hitting me like, oh, I got to get that again. It's not hitting me like, oh, this is amazing. You got to go get it. It's not hitting me like that, man. Dad gave it a 7 out of 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a, a six out of ten. Now, no way am I saying it's trash. It's not. It's just not hitting my flavor, like flavor profile. It don't, it don't hit my. It don't, it don't zest in my mouth. Yeah, like it had hot sauce on it, but it's not super hot. Hot sauce. It tastes like a little bit of Tabasco, so it's very mild as far as hot it sauce does. goes. It does. It's just, it's just not. It's not hitting the flavor I wanted. It. It's not. It's not even exciting me like I thought it was going to. You know what I mean? So, anyway, that's it. I think we got it all, Dan. It wasn't uh, to me the same thing. <laughs> same thing. Like I said, guys, if you have a steak escape, and it's been years since you've been to one. I liked the, the steak the, the yesterday. Or the I, other day, yeah. A couple days ago. days ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the steak ones. I forget, I forget the names of them. Um, the, grand, uh, the Grand Escape and the Original Philly Whiz. We liked both of those yeah. really well. So. And they both of them were pretty good. So... After this experience, okay, guys. After this experience, I'm gonna. I just want to let you know. I'm gonna go on record here. Dad might say the same thing, but I'm gonna go on record here. If I'm wanting like that steak or that chicken sub type thing, that's not gonna break the bank. And I think me and Dad enjoy pretty equally. You know what I mean? Um, I would say this is probably up on uh, high on my list as far as like sub shops. Yeah, it would me too. You too. Me too. So, um, sub yeah, so. Subway used to be a big one on our list. That one sank to the bottom. That Subway has sank to the bottom of our list because you know Dad can't get his five dollar foot long anymore. Plus, I feel like Subway hasn't impressed us much no, lately. They have so, not. They have not. So anyway, that's it, guys. Um, Jersey Mike's is up there pretty high on our list, too. We like Jersey Mike's, so I know a lot of people say, do you like this one over that one? It's hard to remember, guys. It's hard to remember. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. I can't remember. I'll, I'll try to say it as we do stuff to kind of like let you know, but Jersey I'll Mike's leave is it to her. Yeah. <laughs> Jersey Mike's is higher on our list, too, so anyway, that's it. Let's let these guys go, Dan. Yeah, okay. okay. So, guys, we hope you all have a great lunch a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, we hope you have a great day. A great day and a better tomorrow. And God bless you all. Yes, guys. God bless. Come back tomorrow. See what we're eating. See what we're reviewing. See if we like it or not. Until tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>